I'm the 13th Wolfman, and the people over at uh, Magnolia Home Entertainment were nice enough to send over Bad Milo. This is a funny film. Oh my god. I know it's supposed to be a, a horror comedy, but there's a lot more comedy than, than horror. Uh, but it's hilarious. I, I don't want to... Let's see. I'll give, you the, I'll give you the synopsis off the tear sheet. Uh, Duncan... Duncan's mounting stress starts to trigger an insufferable gastro gastrointestinal reaction. Out of ideas, at the end of his out of ideas, and at the end of his rope, Duncan seeks to help out the hypnotherapist Peter Stromer from uh, Fargo, who helps him discover the root of his unusual stomach pain, a pint-sized demon living in his intest in, in his intestine. Triggered by ex excessive anxiety, forces its way out and slaughters the people. Who have caused Duncan stress. There. That's the basic synopsis of this movie. And it's hilarious. Uh, Peter Stromer, like I said. You got Ken Marino, who plays, uh, who plays, you know, Duncan. Gillian Jacobs. Stephen Root plays his father. You might know him from movies like Jersey Girl or, uh, well, he was also Jimmy James on news radio. But um this this movie is downright hilarious. I mean, the the look of Milo, yeah, there you go. You got him in the upper corner there. Basically, shaved an Ewok and made it with a made it with the little creature from Deadly Spawn and you got Milo. This is what was what it looks like to me. It I, it's a laugh riot. I mean, the the first well the the first kill that Milo does and when Duncan shows up and because Duncan doesn't know anything about Milo right yet when he shows up and he find, and he sees what happened they said he died of a he he was attacked by a raccoon a, a rabid raccoon and he died of um a loss of blood. Well, when you see the amount of blood that gets tossed on the walls during the death scene, we would all die of a loss of blood. It's hilarious. Oh, uh, Patrick Warburton is in this movie. That you know. Um, oh, he's been in like everything. Uh, he was on. He was in that show with David Spade. I honestly, I didn't watch it, but. But um, he was on Seinfeld. He he was in a movie with Tim Allen called uh, Big Time. I think is what it was, you know. But yeah, so oh, and Mary Kay Place plays uh, Duncan's mother. You might know her from. From the movie with uh, Jeff Goldblum, The Big Chill, you know, or Captain Ron, which I just love. But yeah, uh, Peter Stromer does a really good job. I, I love the fact that this guy just, he's got to be like one of the hardest working actors out there. He might only get a part that's like three to three to 15 minutes long, but he gets to, he gets to work constantly. And... Uh, he does a really cool job. I like Ken Marino. He did a good job as Duncan. Um, but yeah, just check this out. This this movie is four out of four chainsaws. It's that simple. There's no other way to say it. I, I watched it with a couple of friends, and one said that they would give it three out of four. Another one said that they would give it like three and a quarter. I'm like... Man, I love this movie. This movie was great. I enjoyed watching this movie. I laughed. I give it four out of four chainsaws. There's no other... No, anything is less acceptable. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't work for me. I, this is a four, man. Bang out of bang. Four out of four chainsaws. Yeah. So I say check it out. I'll leave the link to... to uh, Magnolia and Magnet down below. I'm the 13th Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.